The men are accused in a 12 count indictment that even mentions two of the victims getting burned. The indictment alleges really, I think it's fair to say frightening and egregious conduct. The 12 count grand jury indictment focuses on what three workers at check cashing companies in Baltimore allege happened to them. The indictment charges four men, Dennis Hairston of Windsor Mill, Dante Stanley of Rosedale, Devon Dorsey of Gwyn Oak, and Franklin Smith of Catonsville with kidnapping, robbery conspiracies, carjacking, and the attempted robberies of businesses. The incidents happened between May and August 2021. This was a conspiracy, uh, that this was planned conduct, um, that these individuals worked together, uh, clothed themselves in the color of law enforcement officers. According to the indictment, the targets were the Check Cash Depot on Patterson Avenue in Baltimore and Ace Cash Express on York Road in Cockeysville. The indictment claims the men posed as police officers, used police vests, badges, a law enforcement type light bar, and brandished firearms. The men are accused of following the three workers and pulling the victims over, putting them in handcuffs, using blindfolds or duct tape over their eyes and mouths. Tied these individuals up, took their car, and used a blowtorch to torture them into giving up information about the check cashing business so that they could rob these businesses. That's the allegations, at least uh, within the indictment. In a state court charging document, one victim describes his encounter with the suspects, claiming one of them told him he likes to burn people and started to burn the victim with a flame. He was burned on his back and left knee with what he believed was a small torch. The U.S. Attorney says the FBI, Baltimore City Police, Baltimore County Police, and the Harford County Sheriff's Office are all part of this investigation. Dorsey, Smith, and Stanley are in state custody. They are expected to appear in federal court for an initial appearance on May 2nd. And currently, Harrison is in federal custody in Pennsylvania on unrelated charges. Reporting from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.